Rana and welcome to FM Tahiti. Hope you're all doing well. Um, in this episode, what are we doing? We're playing Mapti Island. So they're one of the they're at the bottom of the table, but they're um, a former Premiership side. They've kind of yo-yoed back and forwards. Let's see the overview. He's been really slow for some reason. So yeah, they started off in the Premiership, got relegated, got promoted. Stayed there for a few seasons, got relegated, promoted, relegated for a bit of a yo-yo recently. And it looks like they could be on the way to a, another relegation if they don't sort of things out. I mean, it's early days yet, but they were bottom at one point. In the meantime, so between now and the last video, what, what have I done? Um... Correct. So it was the Feral Cats and the Puka Puka Typhoons uh, that we had the last video for. Uh, we beat San Pedro 3-0, um, Manuel, Minan and Chabert doing that. But then we lost to Mayo Island 4-1. We deserved to lose, to be fair, they were much better than us. We beat the Mutons 3-1. Okay, getting involved again there. Absolutely destroyed the Feral Cats in the... Um, Eating trophy, but then we were kind of expecting that because we played so well against them that that two-one in the league was should have been a lot more than two-one. There shouldn't have been that last goal. Uh, we did have Spearling sent off. It's a bit of a discipline issue going on throughout the squad, but Wallace got a brace, Manuel got a brace, and Tamankara popped up with one. So now we've got Mount T, and then we'll probably play two pie just afterwards and see where we are. So let's make a few subs. Let's get Maggie off. Let's rest Lamb as well because he's injured. Just a bench full of keepers, that's what we'll go for. Okay. 442 against 4-4-2. I have played against Mount before, but when I was manager of the Humpbacks, and I don't remember them ever being particularly difficult to beat, but obviously new team, further along in the game, different division, it's all it's all potentially quite different. Twenty four degrees apparently. So not too different to what it is in the UK currently. So I'm recording probably a week, week and a half in advance. Just had massive thunderstorms. Start the heat wave. And it is just muggy. It's not pleasant at all. It's just muggy. I'm sure later on in the day I'll be alright, but this is about half eight in the morning. Money here. Oh, nice. Kind of out of nowhere, that one, but a goal is a goal, we'll take that. And we are gradually edging in front of them, shot wise, possession wise, we're good. Nice to get it through the crowd. Yeah. Some of these players I still think aren't going to be, you know, Premiership quality for us. I'm sure they'll be able to hold their own. But there's only a few who I think got the pedigree for it. So Manuel's one. Potentially Minan. We set that one up. Tangara and Wallace. They're all either players who have played at the Premiership before. Um I can't remember that Minan. Minan might have done. Or they're playing well enough that I think they could do. And like I said before, Manuel's a, a double OCL winner. He's got he's definitely got the pedigree there. So two goals, that'll do us at the moment. Just checking out the match stats, see if there's anything interesting going on there. Session's a bit more even now, they're getting back into it. Yep, 
happy with the way things are going. Need to make a supper too. The team's still very tired, we're just not a very fit squad. I'm kind of waiting until we get to the Premiership until I sort the staffing and the training out fully. Because although we are professional now, I think we'll just get better staff once we're in the Premiership. And we'll have a better kind of financial basis for it, be able to pay them without it completely bankrupting us. Which is what I think it might do, it might tip us over the edge. I think we're going to bring Kemp forth, I don't trust him that much after his first few performances. Go long? Yeah. No one was waiting. It's. I think the way this tactic plays is the long balls come in from the defence, not from the midfield usually. Go on, Tamagara. Good tackle. See, so yeah, I think if my centre backs or my full backs have got it, there's a good chance for long ball because they're far enough back and then my strikers push forward and they kind of stretch the play a bit. But the moment it goes into the midfield, then we just sort of switch into this sort of short passing and then trying to get it onto the wings. That was a good pass. That was a good shot. That was nice. There I am waxing lyrical about the kind of short passing game. So Monier does that. Essentially this is a beautiful one too. I have to check if he's got that as a PPM. Let's make some subs now. Now comfortable and clear. Tamangara can come off. Let's give him a rest. Not him. Let's bring on Ruiz for Kempf. Come around Taylor for Minan. Taylor's he's a youth Gambier player. He's not. He's not great, but fresh legs. And this just keeps swimming tactic. I've been using it in some of my other saves. I've got like a obviously like an offline personal save where I've been bouncing around the UK and it's worked pretty well. It helped me get Stranra from League Two in Scotland to the SPL. Obviously then we got destroyed in the SPL, but it it works because I think it's got that hybrid. It could be long ball when there's a long ball on. Oh no. Just can't keep a clean sheet. Error more than anything that one. Watch that. See, it's a nice flexible tactic, I think. I think it makes a good change from the hoof ball one we had earlier on in the kind of save. It was good. But if they defended particularly well, then nothing was on and it didn't produce anything. We did change that by making it more attacking, but even then it was sometimes you could just get shut down completely, whereas this one's got options. So that win puts us top, but just one goal difference there. So we'll come back in a minute or two and see how we get on against Tupai, who are down here in 10th. And we're back against Tupai. Um, an island which is mainly just full of coconut groves, I think. Um, I quite like their kit. Kind of classy Milan style. We're still top, they're 10th, nothing's changed. It's only really been a few days, it's quite a short turnaround. We did have some bad news from the board in that, because of our financial status, they have reduced the um, wage budget available. So it is a little bit worse than it was before. Only a little bit there. We speeding on the bench actually for this one. See how it goes. So we reduced it from something like just over six thousand a week to five and a half thousand. So it wasn't like a massive, massive change in that sense. But it did make me look at our bank balance. And that was bad. So we're about three hundred and forty thousand pounds in the red. The projection doesn't look good. I mean, the projection never looks good because it's so poorly calculated, but there's no prize money in the offing for us, basically. We're, there's nothing out there that's going to earn us a ton of money. Um, 
there's yeah, there's no real kind of place. Oh god, bit of a scramble. Yeah, there's no real play sales we can look forward to. So it's I don't think we're at the state where we're going to end up, you know, in bankruptcy receivership. Whichever one it is, that gets you the kind of administration. That's the one. I don't think we're going to end up there just yet. But it's edging closer. Definitely edging closer. Go on, Minan. Ball. Tamangara, he tried. He tried his best. He had a good game last match. Oh, Manuel. We're down a little bit. Sudden there. Kerr straight the will. Kerr did get um, Young Player of the Month. Young Player of the Month was just Player of the Month. It might have just been Player of the Month. Manuel. Got on Tamangar. Oh, clear penalty. I mean, I don't think Tamangaro is going to be a massive threat from that position, but we'll take it. Call for Minan. Sixth of the season. Not doing too badly. I don't think we need to see this one again. The stadium looks a bit empty as well, doesn't it? And then again, Wallace. Ninth. He could get some good numbers this season. I think the only problem I've got with Tamangara and Wallace up front is I don't think they're... It's actually no problem, is it? I was just spoiled by having Yannin and Gerard who are each getting at least 25 goals a season. Well, Stray gets the post. See, I reckon maybe by the end of the season they might squeak. They might. I reckon they'll be 15 to 20. They'll be in that bracket. At least Wallace will be. Tamangara might be slightly below that because he's not quite as prolific. I <laughs> say so as he hits the post from distance. But yeah, I think maybe I was just spoiled by the humpbacks. But there's no reason why we can't get you know, strikers like that, other than our crippling financial situation and our lack of youth intake. But other than that, there's no reason why we can't get those. Well, let's do well to get that down. Interesting ball. Even more interesting, the midfielder just left that one. Just let it run. Go on, Tamangara. There we go. Fifth goal of the season. So yeah, he's four behind. Gone money here. Oh, Tamangara, what a goal. Set it back the way it came. And well, it goes long. Left foot. I wonder what dominant foot is. I don't think he's left. We'll check it out at half time. We'll uh, recoup then. 4 0. They've not had a single shot. It's a good, good showing. I think we've hit our stride now. We had that wobbly bit at the start of the season. Um, and also now we don't have the Inter-Island Cup to worry about. Tamangara. Where can I see? Left only. No, he is a lefty. I do like this skin for this kind of stuff. It's nice. Very pleased. You have to be with a 4-0 with some Wonder Girls in. Um, Bam was going to come off of Manuel there because he's a little tired. 
Thomas can come in for Lamb also. So just refresh the left flank there. Yeah, they've not really threatened. It's been very one-sided, which is fine by us. 513, three-way. I don't know if that's going to be another record attendance, but it's, it's close to whatever our record is. There we go, of course. One shot, one goal. To make it very obvious what we need to... Um, Replace if we do get promoted, it's going to have to be central defenders and a keeper. That's that's going to be key. Just bring on Spearling as well. Money, yeah. Because if we're leaking one or two goals here and there against, I guess, fairly weak teams now. Oh, good call by Spearling, what a sub. Yeah, celebrate that. Mahisha winning 3-2, I reckon they'll go for a promotion push. Mahisha, the team I used to play as when I was playing this as a network save against my brother. The Eruptors from Volcanic Island. Hmm. See, there we go. Just reinforcing that point that defence is a little bit sloppy and our keeper's not fantastic. And our backup keeper's not fantastic. And our third choice youth keeper, not fantastic. Like, it's a difficult one to, to save. He's definitely in the striker's favour. But still... Two shots on target, two goals. Penalty, I'll make it three and three, I guess. So it's a good job with Sir free scoring, because otherwise we'd be absolutely destroyed by now. Who saved? I mean, it doesn't really matter in the long run anyway, but okay. I don't think there will be much more action in this match. So after this we'll have a look at the table, we'll have a look at the schedule. And then I'm going to go get a cup of tea. And I'm also going to start looking at tutorials for how to animate things. Because so I'm thinking next year, some nice uh, animated intros and um, whatchamacallums. Inserts between matches. Find a nice... I don't see easy way to do it, but if I can find a nice straightforward way to do it, even if it's a little bit time intensive, that's all right. So there we are. After that match, we are top by two points, so 12 games played, 26 points. So we're just starting to edge above the sort of two points per game margin we're getting into that kind of title promotion territory kind of point hole per game uh meow who beat us are in second uh the eruptors are in third and the jupiters in fourth and mutons way off in in fifth and they've played an extra game so i don't think they're currently in the race with us but it's a good start um how many games do you have to play again it is 28 games, so we're not quite halfway, but we're almost, almost there. Um, what's this guy like? Uh, he's all right. Manchidi, he's the one who I wanted to try and sign, but couldn't. Picked him up from uh, Madrid de Dios. So let's look at our schedule then. Sorry, sorry if this video has been a bit all over the place, I'm not that awake yet. So we've got Terahi, Union Rimitar and Jupiter's and Mahisha. I'll probably come back for the Mahisha 
and then the Puka Puka one to take us into um, December. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you've got any suggestions for what you might like to see for FM20 as well in terms of this Tahiti save, what kind of stuff you might want to see tweaked or done in more detail, just let me know and I'll add it to the list. Thanks very much.